When Britain's Princess Elizabeth Alexandra Mary was born 80 years ago today, nobody imagined she'd grow up to be queen. But then her uncle gave up the throne for an American divorcee, and the rest is history. But who is she really? NBC's Keith Miller has been following this international woman of mystery around the world for 15 years. She certainly looked like she was having a good time this morning. But then Queen Elizabeth has spent her life being correct in public, always. She calls it duty. She's got to be queen forever. Still, to all of her subjects and the reporters who cover her, she is a woman of mystery. The British may take a certain delight in criticizing the royal family. In 15 years of covering Queen Elizabeth, she has always appeared to me to be in control. She was trained as a child not to cry in public. The one exception I witnessed her grief over the death of Princess Diana. Her Majesty the Queen. In her 1957 Christmas message, she explained what a queen does and does not do. I cannot lead you into battle. I do not give you laws or administer justice. But I can do something else. I can give you my heart. I think the Queen symbolizes everything that's great about Britain. Our grandeur, our traditions. Do they use that picture in the paper? Also in the press pen with me today, Arthur Edwards, royal photographer for 30 years. He treasures the candid photos he's captured, but never got that private shot. I think I know a little bit more than a lot of people, but I don't know the real queen. One poor. We do know she adores her pet dogs, enjoys placing a bet on her racehorses, and like many families, knows the pain of divorce. If you observe the Queen closely enough after many years, you come to believe she's got the common touch, that behind these palace walls, she lives like the rest of us. All she wanted for her birthday, she said, was some sunshine. Instead, tonight, a fireworks display in her honor, turning her nighttime bright, but shedding little light on the woman on the throne. Keith Miller, NBC News, Windsor.